Okay, in this tip, we're going to cover creating estimates and the settings around estimates and how they work. Um, the estimates in the CRM have a pretty cool function that has an expiry timer. So it provides a sense of urgency and a call to action for the customer to actually accept the estimate and uh, sign it online and get things moving. Uh, so first, we're going to just discuss the settings for estimates, and then we'll go into how to create an estimate and what they look like and what the customer is going to see. So we're going to go to admin and then settings and options. And under here, we're going to scroll down to estimates. We're going to open that up. And here's where you can put a default introduction. You'll be able to change this as you create an estimate, but sometimes you might want to have an introduction that tells a little bit about who you are or the company, so on and so forth. So you'll be able to type that in here. Then we have default terms. So this is where you can put, you know, uh, this estimate's valid for a limited time, after this point, this and that. Whatever terms you have for your estimates, you can put that there. And then this is the email that the customer is going to receive when they accept. Um, so that's where it says client email message on acceptance. So that's kind of a thank you and we look forward to working with you, something like that. Then we have the email message on declining an estimate. You know, we're sorry to hear that you declined the proposal. Um, is there something we can do to move forward? Get a 10% off if you can, you know, move forward, something like that. It's a nice place for a second chance offer. And then you can also add two testimonials to your estimates as well. And then the last setting is being able to send a reminder X amount of days before the expiration date. So you can choose, you know, before the expiration date, you know, three days before, send a reminder about the proposal, things like that. Um, so those are your settings uh, for the estimates. And now we'll go into how to create estimates. And there's two ways because um, there's two different types. There's one for leads and then there's one for clients. So you might have someone that's a lead and it's not actually a client at the moment. So you can actually send them an estimate by clicking on your leads, go to leads and then view leads, uh, choose the lead that you want to send the estimate to. And the button at the top here for estimate, simply click that and it's going to pre-fill in your customer's information, give it a name. Here's where your default introduction will show if you have one and you can always tweak this here. Um, so that's where basically give the proposal a name, put the client's email where they're going to receive it, choose an expiration date. Um, so, you know, maybe you want it to expire only a few days after you make it, give them a real sense of urgency, but you can change that to anything you want. You can also choose the currency uh, because these do function like invoices and you can convert a, basically an estimate into an invoice later on. Um, so then we get into our products and services. And so here's where you're going to want to put in and these will function just like your, your actual invoices. So it'll pull, if you have items in the database, it'll pull it here. Uh, if you don't, then you can simply type them in. Um, so you can put anything you want here, you know, uh, plumbing, pipes, um, whatever. There's a typo there. Um, detailing job. Whatever it happens to be, you can put it there. It's going to automatically calculate the totals, so on and so forth. And then just for the sake of this, I'll delete that. So we just have the one line item because uh, I'm going to save this as a test. Uh, so then you also have your terms and conditions, and this is where it's going to pull from what you have saved as your default settings, but then you can always add to this or change it uh, per estimate as well. Um, so basically, once we have our estimate, things are looking the way we want it to look. Um, that's where well, I have to give it a name, testing estimate. Okay, so oops, I already have a date chosen. Um, so then we're going to hit save. If you're ready to send it to the customer, you can do save an email. I'm going to choose just save because I don't need an email going out for the test. And then you'll have this link here, preview. And so if you click preview, it's going to show you what the estimate would look like. So this is going to be replaced with your logo up there. And it's going to have a uh, the title. It's going to have the estimate number. It's going to say created for and then have the customer's name. Accept or decline and then expires in. Here's that timer that provides a sense of uh, urgency for the customer. And it's going to say act now to lock in this deal. This estimate is time limited. It'll show, you know, happiness guarantee. Um, and then essentially here's your, your items that you want, uh, you know, the customer to accept. They're going to show there with a full list. Here's um, uh, the terms that we had from our settings. And then here's the two testimonials that we had in the system. And then they can actually send messages as well. The customer won't see this box because this is just for your internal notes. So if you have multiple people working on an estimate, you can add notes here about the estimate or about the interaction with the customer. And that way other people can see those notes within your organization. Uh, questions, they will show up here on the, the left and you'll be able to answer questions um, to the customer if they have questions about the invoice or sorry for the estimate. And then uh, essentially the customer will be able to accept. So they'll be able to say, you know, John Doe, and then they'll be able to accept and sign that online. 
and they can also decline if they uh, if they don't want to accept the estimate as well. So that's essentially how the estimates work. And you'll see this button when you're logged in so that you can quickly go back and edit uh, the estimate. And then the link that you want to send them is this preview link. So if you click on that link and then go up to the top of your browser bar, I'll show you what it looks like in Notepad. Then you can paste it there and you'll be able to uh, send them that link basically um, so that they can uh, look it over. Now, of course, if you're editing the estimate and you do the save and email, the system will automatically email them for whatever email you have under client's email set here. Then if we go to uh, finances and estimates, you'll see a list of the estimates that are there. Here's the new one that we just created. And then there's another test here as well. Um, so from this list, you'll see pending by default. So these are all the pending ones that are outstanding. You can click view, edit, or delete. And then you can also search. But then you also have this option to filter. So right now it's showing pending, but you can look for accepted estimates. And if you click that, it'll pull up a list of ones that have been accepted with an option to click and make an invoice. So one click, you click that, it copies over all the information into your invoice and you're ready to go. Then you also have declined and deleted. And so you can take a look at those and see if there's one that's deleted that maybe you want to restore or if there's any that have been declined. And it'll update uh, the list for you automatically. So by default, it does load pending. Now, one last note is that on your dashboard, if we scroll down, you'll also be able to see recent estimate activity. So here's where you'll see, here's the proposal we just created, and then it'll have the customer, the date, and as well as the estimate. You can click there to open it up, and you'll see if they viewed it. So in this case, proposal viewed, proposal accepted. So this is a timeline of the estimate activity that you have available to you on the dashboard. And to get there, you just click on your logo in the uh, top left corner, and then scroll down until you get to the recent estimate activity section. All right, so that's estimates in a nutshell.